My name is Bly Straub, and I'm the archaeological curator for the project Jamestown Rediscovery. The dig is an archaeological investigation of the first permanent English settlement in, in the New World, and primarily focusing on James Fort, which we found. Uh, we didn't know we would, but we did. And um, it's generated over 1.1 million artifacts. It's significant because this is where it all began uh, for what became the nation of the United States. This is where America began. This is it. This is the vault. We call it the vault, especially built to house the collection. These are the things I'm working on at the moment, mending things together, um, studying them, cataloging them. And we have marvelous things like this brick that was obviously made on site. Uh, you can see that a pig stepped into. These are um, jars for medicines. A lot of them were made in the Netherlands. A nice little candlestick. And candles were really expensive, so this would have belonged to a gentleman. A nice little thimble that has a maker's mark on it, dating it to 1608. Not only are we washing the dirt off the artifacts, but we have to sort them out by materials. Some things get weighed, um, some things get measured. All the ceramics get numbered. Um, we have to put little numbers. Uh, these numbers are the context from, from where the artifact came. And we do that because we've taken it out of its context and we're trying to mend it with pieces from other contexts. It's called cross-mending. And this is showing you that process of cross-mending. What I've done is take out all the German stoneware and I'm trying to mend it together. This one came out of a well that we excavated and it's kind of magical because <laughs> we, we meant it in two parts because we haven't quite found those missing pieces yet and we're hoping they turn up. This is Kelsey, our curatorial assistant, and um, at the moment she's um, numbering some tobacco pipes. So she's putting the context number, which in this case is JR2358A, on every single one of those. Don is numbering, doing the same thing with ceramics. Um, we have to sort the ceramics out by type, where they were made, and Sometimes that's quite hard with the, the coarse earthenwares. This is um, where we do air abrasion. So it's like a mini sandblaster. Um, they use this pencil unit with their hands in here, the glass down, and um, this very fine aluminum oxide powder is blasted out onto the artifacts. And this is a sword hilt that's in the process of being conserved. You can see it still is coated with rust here, but this has been cleaned off. Our wet lab, um, where the artifacts are cleaned up so the 400-year-old dirt is washed off of them for the first time. Another conservation process known as electrolysis, so an electrical current is being passed through the liquid here. It, it actually um, does a really good job of removing the rust. But, um, I never know what I'm going to face each day. The, the archaeologists come running in from the field holding some precious item that, that I have a chance to examine and research, and it's, it's just a wonderful site.